Nedra, would you like to get us started? I would, Josh. Thanks. Did anyone here at the White House authorize or raise any objections to Secretary Clinton using her personal email account while at the State Department? Well, Nedra, what I can tell you is that the very specific guidance has been given to uh, agencies all across the government, which is specifically that uh, employees of the Obama administration should use their official email accounts when they're conducting official government business. Uh, however, when there are situations where personal email accounts are used, uh, it is uh, important for those records to be preserved consistent with the Federal Records Act. Uh, in fact, the President signed into law a bill at the end of last year that clarified the guidelines for how those personal emails uh, can be properly uh, stored and maintained. Uh, this is part of why the State Department has asked all of the previous Secretaries of State who have used any email as they were conducting official U.S. business to send their emails to the State Department so they could be properly uh, preserved and maintained. Secretary Clinton's team, in response to that request, reviewed her emails and complied with that request by sending uh, all of the emails on her personal account that pertain to her uh, official responsibilities as Secretary of the State. Uh, they did that even though many of the records uh, were already maintained on the state system because those records were emails between the Secretary of State and State Department employees using their official government email address. So are you saying that her use of her personal email solely was appropriate or was it in violation of this policy? Well, what you should do is that you should check with the State Department who is responsible for administering this policy. Uh, but the policy, as a general matter, uh, allows individuals to use their personal email address as long as those emails are maintained and sent to the State Department, which, uh, if you ask Secretary Clinton's team, uh, that's what they completed uh, in the last month or two. Given that she's not the first person to use personal email, does there need to be some sort of system for archiving personal emails of high-ranking government officials like this? Well, that is part of this law that I referred to that the President signed into law at the end of last year, that it does establish clear guidelines for how individuals, if they are using their personal email to conduct official business, can ensure that those records are properly maintained. Now, the official guidance that we offer to uh, administration employees, and it's certainly the guidance that I've followed here personally when I've been at the White House, uh, is that I use my official uh, government email address when I'm conducting official government business. It saves me the additional step of having to take a personal email and forward it to my government email so that it can be properly maintained. Now, it's not um, incredibly uncommon for one of you or one of your colleagues to send an email to my personal address. A few of them, a few of you have it. Uh, but when I do that, I will answer the emails, which I uh, try to be pretty good about doing. But then I will take that response and forward the email to my official account so that the record of that email exchange can be properly preserved. Can you